<laughs> Hello, today I'm back in the kitchen and I'm going to make some cow, which is a traditional Welsh meal. So to make my cow, I have uh, peeled and chopped a whole load of root vegetables. So there's uh, carrots and swede, uh, some leeks, potatoes, and these are the, uh, the stems uh, and some of the leaves from purple sprouting broccoli. And in this pot here, I have got uh, some lamb that has previously been roasted. So I've got most of the meat off the bone uh, and we've used it in other meals. And so this was uh, everything that was left and I've boiled that up and so I've got a really nice stock from that. This really isn't a terribly difficult recipe. It's a throw everything in the pot and cook it. So over here, uh, I've got my potato peelings and one extra potato in case I want to add that one in. Uh, they're only there because they're waiting to go over to the uh, for, to different compost uh, bag because I don't put these in the compost that go to the garden because otherwise I end up potatoes growing all over the garden. Um, but into the pot, carrots, the leeks and the potatoes and uh, the swede you could add turnip um, or parsnip anything else that you've got to hand uh, sweet potato would be quite nice in it you can add garlic if you like garlic um, you can kind of uh, add any any mixture of vegetables you like so it's quite nice doesn't it but what I'm not doing uh, yet is putting in the heads of purple sprouting broccoli because they'll go mushy when I'm, I'll put them in a bit later over at the cooker uh, I've got a sieve well I've got a colander um, and I'm literally just going to pour the lamb juices into the pot What I've got in here uh, now are uh, the bones and the fatty bits, but there are also still some, there are still some bits of lamb on this. So I'm just gonna spend a few minutes picking through it so that I can add those little bits of lamb to our cow. So the cow can now go onto the heat, pop the heat on. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. I'm gonna let it boil for, uh, about five minutes then I'm going to uh, turn it down I'm just going to let it simmer for about another half an hour to let all those vegetables soften and all the flavours come out I've just picked through these uh, bones which to be honest we thought uh, were pretty much uh, done with and we thought we'd got the meat all off them um, and I have just picked off uh, another five ounces of lamb uh, so <coughs> and I've just spotted another bit uh, but I think that's got Monty's name on it. Yep, he looks like he's approving of that. Those last, uh, those last few bits of lamb with the bones and everything, I am going to pour some more hot water on those um, and reboil them and just make uh, a little bit more stock out of them. Well, because there's no point in wasting them. So back to the pot of cow. Uh, it's got the root vegetables, the leeks, um, the stems from the broccoli and everything else in it. It's, uh, it's in that lamb stock. Um, and I'm also going to add uh, the lamb that I pulled off the bone. So this is a real using up meal. It's just allows you to use up what you've got. And then into this, uh, you add uh, whatever herbs uh, on flavourings that you like. So I'm just going to test it and see how salty it is. It's got a very nice lamb flavour to it. Um, it's not very salty. Uh, so in goes a bit of sea salt. This is quite a big meal so that's quite a lot of sea salt going in uh, just because we like it to have quite a lot of oomph. And 
um, I'm also going to add um, a dry bay leaf and some dried marjoram and the other thing that Mr J and I quite like uh, in a lamb cow um, are some fennel seeds uh, maybe not quite that many half that that amount um, just because I like the way I like the way the fennel lifts the flavour well, there we go I'm going to bring that to the boil pop the lid on it and leave it to simmer Oh yeah. How are you doing? And there it is completed and ready for us to eat. And the only thing left to do is to pop a nice big piece of cheese on it. <laughs>